Hey, how's it going out there, YouTube? Sean from Fairweather Cards. Welcome back. And as promised, this is the baseball installment of my latest uh, sports card show finds. If you haven't seen the previous video, uh, I highlighted my football, basketball, and non-sport finds. So feel free to check that out. This is going to be a strictly baseball. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, the sports card show, it's a small one in my local community. Uh, typically, five, six dealers show up, but it's good camaraderie, lots of good sports card talk, and you, you can find some pretty good deals. First card that I want to show off here is the uh, PSA 10. It's grade Gen Mint 10. Uh, 2006 Bowman Chrome Prospects, Alex Gordon, and it is PSA DNA certified. Alex did personally sign this card. Now, the pen that Alex used was probably a, a fine felt tip pen, so the autograph is not very good, and this case has certainly seen better days. But the uh, seller had a, a $20 price tag on this card, and you know, I just thought, you know, Alex Gordon, I just loved watching him play for the Royals. I guess I would probably root for the Royals any, over any other team except the Astros. I've seen quite a few of their games. Um, you know, I thought 20 bucks was kind of a no-brainer to uh, purchase. You know, a nice Alex Gordon card. Uh, that is a Jim Mint 10 card with, you know, an autograph. Now, I went to the show with the sole purpose in mind of finding vintage cards. But as you all are aware, you know, vintage cards every three to five months have been doubling over the last year. So it's becoming very difficult or increasingly difficult to find good vintage cards at affordable prices. So, you know, I have broadened the search a little more to include, um, you know, some newer cards, newer vintage cards. And here's one that fits the bill. It's a stadium club, uh, Jackie Robinson. And this is just an iconic photo of Mr. Robinson signing autographs for the fans. Um, I love these stadium club photos. They're unmatched in my opinion. Now this uh, particular card, I believe, is from either 2019 or 2020 Stadium Club, but it was just like a dollar or two. I, I couldn't pass it up and very excited to add that one to the collection. Likewise, here's a nice uh, gold standard Bob Gibson that was a dollar. Uh, really neat uh, Bob Feller that was a dollar. Here's kind of a cool card, not so much vintage, but it's got a lot of firepower on it. You have uh, Todd Helton, uh, Vladdy Guerrero Sr., and Albert Pujols, and this is the gold version. That was a dollar. I rated the dollar boxes quite a bit, or the heavy discount boxes quite a bit. I believe that one was a dollar. Uh, Mickey Mantle here. Um, this particular card was just a buck or two, and I believe it's from 2012. I think, yeah, 2012. Just a you know, nice card. Where can you get a tops issued Mickey Mantle for just a couple bucks? Now I am an Astros homer, so you know, I always pick up Astros cards when they're affordable. Here's a Kyle Tucker, King Tuck, uh, rookie card. And this is modeled after the 1993 Tops set. You know, Kyle Tucker last year, uh, you can debate me with me if you want, but the second half of the season, he was the MVP of the league. Um, he put together tremendous numbers. He had a real slow start last year. Uh, so Kyle Tucker, here's a Justin Verlander with an ugly patch, but uh, anytime you can get a JV patch for a few bucks, why not? And I was excited to see this card. 1986 Fleer Mini, Nolan Ryan. Love this card. Uh, you know, the price was right. I think it was a buck and a quarter. And, you know, I, I, I can see the whiting around it. But when I brought it home and got into better light, didn't realize that there is a stain, unfortunately. Ah, but that's okay. You know, a Fleer Mini 86 Nolan Ryan for about a buck. You know, why not? Here is a cool George, George, Joe Morgan. Uh, now, this is his second uh, uh, card on the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, this one, particularly from 1973. The 72 tops had that ugly traded right across, you know, the card. But uh, nice Joe Morgan card. You know, I think this one amounted to just 3 or $4. It was cheap. Nice Reggie Jackson, nothing too special, but, you know, like Reggie Jackson. Here's an Eddie Murray second year card for a few bucks. A lot of firepower on this one. Bob Gibson and Don Drysdale. This is a 65 tops showing the 64 strikeout leaders. Here we have Fergie Jenkins. Now I don't have many of Fergie's cards, but uh, I've been following him on social media, uh, Twitter, and uh, 
you know, he's very active on Twitter. He just seems like a really cool person. So I like the person, and more and more that I'm reading about his playing days, I, I'm loving the player. So, uh, you know, Fergie, he's, uh, I now kind of got a side PC, uh, you know, with Mr. Jenkins. Here was a nice card, in my opinion, for about 15 bucks of uh, 72 rookie stars, the Red Sox. Not only does it have Cecil Cooper, but also Mr. Carlton Fisk. And, you know, for $15, why not? Yogi Berra, 62 post. This one amounted to be about $2. Fortunately, it does have a crease, but where can you get a Yogi Berra card from 1962 for 2 bucks? You know, right on. Likewise with this Hank Aaron, no creases, though uh, soft corners and definitely some etching around the uh, the edges. But this is another postcard from 62, and I paid about $15 as a package deal. Uh, you just you can't find 62 tops cards of Henry Aaron for, you know, for, well, you know, anything that would look, you know, this nice for, you know, less than 100 bucks. That's just, it's not going to happen. So, you know, getting these postcards, it's a good way to expand your collection. Tony Perez, it's rookie cup card from 1966 tops. And, uh, you know, it does have a crease in the lower corner, but the price was right. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, just speeding along here, but Bob Euchre from 1965 tops. And this is a, a fun card. Now, I do have his rookie card from 62 tops where it has the four floating heads, the rookie catchers. Uh, this particular card is interesting. Um, I had heard somewhere along the line, that, you know, you see him, he looks like he's batting left-handed. Well, Euchre's a righty, he bats right. And uh, I had heard along the line that Bob uh, was kind of goofing around with his teammates. And, uh, you know, obviously with a smile, something was up there. Well, I posted this card on Instagram, just showing that I purchased it and tagged Bob Euchre. And his nephew reached out to me and confirmed the story that, yes, Bob was just kind of being goofy there. And, and uh, you know, actually, you know, that's right. He wasn't, uh, this was just something kind of funny to get a charge out of his, out of his uh, teammates. So that was kind of neat, you know, to hear that. And the last card, uh, 1952 Wheaties, Phil Rizzuto. I just have fallen in love with this set. I, I started with the, the Bob Fellers. I'd had my eye on the set for a while, but a, a fellow YouTuber and a local around here started picking them up, and, and he showed them on some of his videos in, in the Instagram. And just the simplicity of this card. You know, you got orange, you got blue, and you got white, basically. But you don't need the pop of the of the uh, refractor or the prism or, you know, the sparkly colors, you know, for this card to really pop out. It's just a beautiful card, very affordable, and, you know, such history there. I just, I love this uh, Rizzuto card. So that's what I purchased. I hope you enjoyed it. I love hearing what you all purchased at uh, sports card shows, what the, the deals that you find on eBay, you know, so uh, I'll keep watching y'all's video. But uh, hit me up if you like it, and please let me know, and appreciate y'all hanging with me today. Y'all take care.